Webhooks are used for quite a bit of things. People use them for rules in their Discord server like I have. Other people use it for not quite nitro, which is basically if you type in like a nitro emoji, the bot will delete it and it will put it in itself because bots do have access to nitro emojis and a plethora of other uses. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can add uh, webhooks to your own bot and how you can utilize it and basically a bunch of things that you can do with it. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Here I am in my text editor and you're not going to have to import anything for at least this video. All you're going to need is AIO HTTP. You can just run AIO HTTP because if you're using Netscord or Discord.py version 2, you should already have it installed. Now, let's get on with it. And Discord.py version 2 overhauled webhooks entirely. So, we're going to have to be changing some things up. So, if you do use Discord.py 1.7, I highly suggest you switching over to Nextcore. If you want to know how you can do that, there should be a link down below in the description about migrating to Nextcord. So, I highly suggest you check that out and it will talk about all the changes that go in it. But we can start off by creating a function saying async def send underscore to or send to webhook. And then we're going to pass in webhook. It's the webhook itself or it's webhook URL and then do content. And then inside that, we're going to have an async with. And this is going to use AL. AIO HTTP to create a client dot session. And that's going to call it as session. And then we can have webhook equal to this webhook. And then we can have webhook equal to next chord dot webhook. I really can't type right now because web hook instead of web hook is what I put in. But after we have next word web hook and make sure the W is capital, we're gonna add from underscore URL and then we can pass in URL session session. And having URL over here should be actually webhook.url because we can just grab the same URL. We don't have to specify it again. And then do oh hey await web hook dot send and then content like so and this is what we're this is the function that we're going to use to send any web hook that we want wherever we want and just to prove it right we can actually just do right now send to web hook and blah 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 we're not going to do that because that will just do it as soon as like the bot runs we can stop it in here and it'll do soon as the bot runs we don't want that i'm going to show you guys how you can integrate it into commands and events so in order to do that, we're going to actually create an event. So do client.event or whatever you're having. If you have bot, then do bot.event. And inside here, it's going to be an A on message event. So async that on underscore message, the passing message. Inside here, we're going to just check if it's a bot. So if not, message.author.bot, then proceed. So, because when you send it as a webhook, you will send it as a bot. So, it will just keep on relooping this. So, we just want to check if it's a bot or not. After we do that, we want to do await send to webhook. And inside here, we're going to send the URL. So, we can just keep that as webhook URL for now. But then, this is going to be the content. So, I'm going to extra this and do something like message dot content or sent in message dot channel dot mention by message dot author dot name like so so basically if I were to send hello in general it would pop out as something like Hello was sent in hashtag general by 
glow stick. And it would send that in whatever channel that we set the webhook to. So now that we have this basic code, and whenever you want to actually send the webhook, all you're going to need to refer to is this function, which makes everything easier. So we can just type this wherever you want. We can actually learn how we can create the webhook because you're going to have to create one. So I'll show you how to do that right now. Here we are in my Discord. Link down below in the description. Please join. I'm trying to get to a thousand members. And what we want to do is whatever channel we want to send it to, go over here and click Edit Channel. And then on the integrations, you want to click that. And over here, you select Create Webhook. So our webhook is going to be message logger and the channel you can select. I'm just going to have testing and then you want to click here, copy webhook URL, click save changes. And then we can go back into our Visual Studio code inside here. We just want to paste this inside. Now this is my webhook token. Make sure that this does not get to the wrong hands. I cannot stress this enough because if it does, you're screwed. This webhook instantly has administrator permissions, all webhooks do, and you can't change that. So if you were to send this to the wrong person, they could destroy your entire server. Now, why am I showing you this token? Because I'm going to delete it anyways after. So it really doesn't matter. But please do not show this to anyone else that you do not trust. But yeah, after you paste this in here, that's it. All you're going to have to do is click run here and Inside the terminal, it should do something, and if the onready message is sent without an error, we can go to our Discord, and we can just X out of here, and here we are testing. So, we can do D, hope to make sure it's run, and boom, automatically will come up. So, if I say hi, it'll pop it in, and I actually spelled it wrong, I forgot the other Toda key there, so it won't work, kind of. But I can send anything that I want to if I want to. It'll just copy it. And this will work channel wide. So if I go into say general, say and say hello. And I can't spell. But anyways, if we go back to testing, it'll say whatever I sent, sent by glow stick. And that's gonna be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. It was a really fun one to make, so Please consider subscribing. I'm really close to 1,500 subscribers, and I want to hit 1,000 numbers on my Discord server so I can be cool. Thanks. So, till next time, go stick out. See ya.